Yeah, okay. Good to go. Hey, hey guys. Yes. Would you like an opening statement first or would you like to go straight to questions? Let's go straight to questions. Okay, great. First, we're going to start with Anthony Dasher and then Austin River. Okay. Hey, coach. Uh, just wondering how many uh, 10 walk one hitters have you ever been a part of before your coaching career? <laughs> Uh, I don't think any, I don't think, um, there's, there's always, uh, with all those games that you play, there's certainly some ugly wins mixed mm -hmm. in there. And, uh, and that was kind of an ugly one, but, uh, you know, when you walk 10 guys, you don't really think that you should have a chance to win, but we made plays and, and, uh, we limited the damage. We made it interesting. And, you know, I, I thought that we had some opportunities to score a bunch of runs and, mm -hmm. you know, the wind cut down so much. Cheney Rogers hit the ball today mm -hmm. better than he did yesterday. Yeah. And he couldn't believe it when he came in the dugout because he got yeah. all of it. And Benny Anderson's ball and Riley King's ball, actually Riley King had two balls that I thought mm -hmm. were run. So, you know, I thought we swung the bat better than what the scoreboard showed, but that was the kind of day it was. And certainly a day like today, it should be a good day to pitch. And that's what I told several of the pitchers is, Hey, the wind's blowing in a really good day to pitch. And, we, we just didn't challenge enough hitters and, and we walked certain way too many guys. But, but that, that aside, I mean, so many of these freshmen, you talked about before the series started, was going to get a chance to come in here and pitch for the first time to get this experience right now. And to, to, for the most part, you know, you know, being very successful, what is that going to mean for this group now moving forward, these young kids? Well, that's what we just talked about in right field. If we didn't have five guys out, then, I mean, it's at least five of those freshmen probably mm -hmm. aren't pitching this week. We had, I think, believe eight freshmen that pitched. Yeah. So, you know, all those guys got an opportunity because the opportunity was there and, and they took advantage of it. Not all of them were perfect. And I actually told Hank Beard that when I took him out, I said, you know, Hank, I didn't really think you pitched very well. And he kind of looked at me funny and I said, but you got the job done. So that's the mm -hmm. encouraging thing is you didn't have your best stuff because we all know he, Hank's really good. And we know he's going to be really good for us. And, and he just looked a little bit off and, and that's, kind of what you expect from a freshman taking the mound for the first time at the university of Georgia. I mean, it's pretty nerve wracking. And, uh, but I, I thought they all fought through it and they did their jobs and, and that's what we needed out of them. Who are you going to pitch on Wednesday yet? Do you know? That's a great question. Maybe you, Anthony, I, I don't know. We're, we're going to arm throw, is shot coach. I'm yeah, sorry. We're, we're going to, we're going to throw, we're going to throw a lot of guys. Uh, we haven't figured out who's going to yeah. start uh, maybe Ben Harris, uh, yeah. been through really well the other day and and uh you know he, he'll be on some rest Liam Sullivan uh was a candidate he threw today didn't throw a bunch of pitches I, I think it's a good chance that we'll probably throw six or seven guys uh on uh, on Wednesday but we haven't decided who's gonna start but Ben Harris is a pretty good candidate oh cool. thanks man yep hey coach so with how um how the whole group of pitch like the pitching staff as a whole I think you're at 15 on the mound um, this weekend or 13, something around there. But um, with, with how everyone pitched, you know, this weekend and moving forward, um, I mean, where, where do you kind of like, how do you, how do you work out spots for everybody? Because I mean, it seemed like you had so many people that, that pitched pretty well this weekend. So, I mean, where do you, where do you find those spots going forward? Well, it's a good problem to have. It just makes things a little bit more competitive. And uh, when these guys come, Ryan Webb, we expect to have him back this coming weekend to pitch against Gardner Webb and then Jonathan Cannon, probably the following weekend or at least in the midweek. And, and then Brandon Smith and Logan Moody and Michael Polk, that's five veteran arms that are going to be trickling back in over the next two and three weeks. So it just becomes more competitive. And, you know, the, we don't have to tell the pitchers that, but they know it. Hey, if I want to pitch, if I want to get out there, I'm going to have to do my job and take care of business. And, you know, for the most part, guys did their jobs this weekend. I'm very happy with overall the, the results, the way we pitched. It needs to get better. It needs to clean up a little bit for sure. But for eight freshmen to go out there and, and get it done for us to win three out of four, uh, I'm, I'm pleased with it. Okay, let's have Tori Heck and then Jed May. Hey Coach, Will Pearson just mentioned to us the tight-knit group of freshman pitchers that you had, especially a lot of them we saw today. What have you seen as far as the camaraderie among those guys so far this season? Well, they are tight. A lot of those guys played summer baseball together. We recruited them at the same time. So these kids all know each other. And, uh, you know, with the summer ball circuit the way it is now, if they didn't play together, they always played against each other. And with social media and, and these kids – you know, the, the kids that are committed in our classes earlier, I mean, they're two or three years away from coming here, but they all know each other through social media. So these guys have all gotten to know each other. And the other thing you think about, these freshmen have been stuck in the dorms. This has been a year like no other. And so they've had to be in the dorms. They can't go out and wander out and, and, and go with their high school friends and, and go 
you know, home to see their families as much as normal, they're staying in the dorms and staying with their friends. And, and I think that makes that group even closer. Uh, hey, Coach, uh, I wanted to ask you about the offense. I think y'all had five extra base hits over the four games, but you still win three out of four. Uh, you were aggressive on the bases today, all that kind of stuff. Is that going to be the approach that we're going to see all season long? And what advantages can that give you, I guess, even when you're not hitting home runs all, all day long? Yeah, and, and like I said to Anthony earlier, I thought we hit three balls that, that were home runs today, and it just didn't happen. So it's just kind of the way that the, the weather worked for us. But, yeah, we're going to try to put pressure on people as much as possible, whether that's a safety squeeze or a hit and run or just a straight sack bun. And you saw a sack bunny that they had trouble defending it a little bit. Our guys did a great job. We laid down some really good bunts to challenge them. But it's one of those things, if you lay down a bunt and they struggle to field it, we'll just do it again and just keep going back to it. And if a team can defend that, and does a good job, then, then maybe you go to something else. But we kind of went to the well with the bunt just because they struggled a little bit to cover it. Okay, and the last two questions, let's have William Newland and Davis Baker. Hey coach, uh, you know, I wanted to ask about uh, Ben Anderson, not seeing him lead off today. Um, you know, did he just need some time to get out of his head? And and, and what was the thinking in bringing him back in, in, in the seventh? Yeah, just seeing it from a different angle. I mean, he had arguably could be our best hitter and he just scuffled a little bit, was pressing. And so I just, hey, just watch it from a different angle for a couple innings. And when they bring in that guy that throws with the right arm, you're going to be in there. And we did. So him and Randon split the, split the game. And and uh, I thought Ben's last at bat was really good. I thought he had a home run and uh, got a sack fly when we needed to extend the lead. But yeah, nothing more than, you know, just sitting down, taking a breath, watching the game from a different angle. And and he's a great player. And, and I think he's got a chance to be an All-American and just needed to to slow down a little bit. And, and I think his last few at-bats have been pretty positive and uh, certainly had a great at-bat to end the game on, uh, you know, on Saturday. And uh, and then I thought his last at-bat today was good. So I think that you can see him start to get some momentum. But, yeah, there's nothing more than that. And plus, Randon Jernigan's a really good player. we got to get him at-bats, too. So he got two starts over the weekend, and it was great to see him be a contributor. Hey, Coach, earlier this week you talked about the importance of toughness. How would you evaluate your team's toughness uh, in this opening series? Well, when you le lose opening day uh, the way that we did, I mean, it's really tough to handle. And uh, so – we could have folded right there and, you know, heck who know, we could have very easily lost game three yesterday. And, and then we're fighting like crazy today just to split the series. So I thought our guys handled the adversity. Well, uh, it was not a perfect weekend by any stretch where we have a, a long way to go and, and a lot to improve on, but overall we could have folded and we did. not I thought that we played very hard. I thought our guys energy was good. And, and again, a lot of guys contributed uh, I don't know how many guys exactly we played, but we played a ton of guys this week, and I'd say probably close to 30 players saw action. And, uh, and that just shows a lot of depth and, and uh, is going to help us in the future. Thanks so much, Coach, and congrats on the weekend. Okay. Thanks, guys.